YouTube. What just happened in? Let me sit y'all somewhere right quick. Sorry, y'all can't sit down. Hold on. Make y'all real useful in just a second. Just a second. Let's try how up here you go right here. Got y'all a little seat going. Just got in my truck. Brand new. Not brand new, I don't think. I don't know. I can't tell, right? It is the Volvo and it's manual. Yeah, I know I got I, I gotta keep messing with the gears. I was hoping for automatic, but I'm good with the gears, it don't matter. So how did how did it go? This is how it went. I just got here. I only been here, I think I only been here for 30 minutes. And I already got about 1,200 miles to do. 1,200 mile load of salmon. I got one assignment. A guy, actually, a guy finna meet me. He bringing a trailer to the yard, and I got finished taking out to West Memphis. And then from there, I'm going straight to Pennsylvania, Hazleton, Pennsylvania. So they already putting the money on me on day one. This is day one. Not even. This is the first 30 minutes, and they already talking about that money. Yes, indeed. Uh oh, y'all fell. Hold on, man. They talking about that money. If they talking about it, I'm talking about it. Just hit to empty trailer. That's cool. Pick it up. Perfect, perfect. Making all kinds of money. All kinds. And let this land to get down. I suck at this part, man. I just don't know. Look it ain't even moving. Ah, I suck at this. <laughs> I got it. This could be the hardest part. Jackpot, got enough fuel. We are good. Clear the fuel. Hooked up and ready to go. All kinds of money, baby. All kinds. All right, so while I'm waiting here, I see the red light back out, so that means they are unloading me. While I'm waiting there, I'll tell you some of the problems I had today. I already knew it was gonna be a problem. I just, I just didn't think I was gonna face it as bad as it happened today. Sliding the tandems for the first time. Oh, man. Pitch black dark, too. As I got here, it was midnight when I got here. I got to the guard shack. Hold on. I'm trying to pull up my stuff up. Yeah, I gotta get one of these, man. That's a power pack right here. Check it out. You charge once you get it charged. Let's say uh let's say I had a power inverter, right? I can plug my iPhone up to this, it'll charge it real fast, and it'll charge it. I can charge it from a dead battery up to like three times. It's a power pack, so real useful. It ain't gotta be an iPhone, it could be anything. Anything is USB. But you gotta keep it charged, so this is how I charge it. But back to it. So I pull up to the garage shack. And the lady said, all right, 
after I got my paperwork done and she told me uh, the load was like four hours late. <laughs> she said, uh, slide your tandems all the way to the back. All right, no problem. You know, I didn't did it with my trainer before. Sort of. I, I, I did it before. I know how it's done. That's how I was able to do it. This is what happened. So I go back there and pull the button, right? I slide the tail. I just drive back. And you feel me? I drive it all the way back. To slide the tandems all the way back to the door. Cool. <laughs> and then I pull, I pull my, uh, my rear valve. I mean, I push my rear valve in, thinking that the pins was gonna lock in place. All right. So once I figure, once I start driving, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was locked in place. So I drive all the way around the building to the shipping and the receiving office. I go in, and get my paperwork. They say they they tell me to park right, so I get ready to hit the alley dock. And keep in mind the parking lot is totally full, so it's only like one spot I can pull in. I get ready to hit my alley dock. I'm bagging back, and you know the truck moving. I'm bagging back, and it's like this. How I'm bagging back. It's like we just I'm just bouncing up and down and bagging back at the same time. I said, man, what in the world is going on? I stopped the truck. <laughs> you can see people laughing, but I, you know what I'm saying. It's, I had already jacked up the alley dock anyway. Like when I do my alley dock, it's like I'm alley docking, then I'm, I'm going to a 90, then I go into a straight line, but the straight line turned into an offset, then I offset in there, then I pull back forward, then I straight line. So it's like 10 parts to me trying to alley dock. Alright? So I'm bouncing, and I'm alley docking at the same time, and then I get in there, and then about 10 hours later, once I got in the parking spot, I said, man, let me get some tandem practice in. So I go back in and look at my tandems, and I'm like, man, this don't look right. <laughs> I said, what what a pin is that? Cause I, I'm thinking, cause I was gonna go out there and pull a uh, pull a little release pin thing and try to get some tandem practice in. But I, I see, I see, I mean, I could pull the release thing, but the pins ain't ain't pushed out like through the hole. I said, man, where's the uh, where's the thing? Did they break off or something? And then I'm looking through all the holes and I see them. Kind of, they, they 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 haven't released all they haven't released out yet, and I said I got to thinking about it. I said I'm thinking when I when I was alley docking, I'm thinking as I was driving the truck back, I was sliding the tandems at the same time. That's why the truck kept bouncing like it. That's what I'm thinking happened. I don't know. I imagine that, that that's probably what was going on. But uh, once I figured it out, I remember I was supposed to pull this trailer brake right here, hold this down. And then drive forward and then uh, the release pins will come out. And I guess, I, I, I thought I did it at first, but apparently I didn't get out and check to make sure that they locked. So I got them locked in place, but that was, that was some experience. Lucky I didn't damage anything. But, uh, other than that, that's the only problems I hear so far. And this GPS is uh, total trash. This is on our, uh, why is it total trash? Well, it, it was total trash today. So when I left night, he kept on saying he was trying to determine my, uh, determine my GPS location. And uh, I thought it was just because of the spot I was in, I got to drive it down the street. And they said that the whole three hour way. But luckily for me, I just bought this Garmin right here. All the reason I got Garmin, that was uh, the GPS. This ain't the same G GPS my uh, trainer here, but he had the uh, Garmin brand and it worked real good. He had a cheaper version of this, but it worked real good. And this right here worked real good. It was only $115. Yeah, I don't like buying the cheapest GPS ever. Uh, I, I know I'm gonna give me a new GPS, but uh, I'm stuck with this one because this one is the one that Powell here. I, I needed a GPS immediately because I didn't. They, they, they said I'm supposed to be going to uh, Pennsylvania. I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen. I didn't expect to be here 13 hours, so I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Once I get a GPS here you know, and figure out how long Nate been trying to contact me, then you know, I figure out what I'm gonna do next. There was another night truck that pulled up here like an hour ago, so I thought he was gonna get out and tell me that they've been looking for me. <laughs> but now he is saying that. So I guess I guess I'm alright. YouTube, look what's happening. Look, I'm making this video for everybody that wanna know what it's like to take a shower inside the gas station. So this is for y'all truckers out there. Uh, I'm actually inside of one right now, so I decided to pull out the camera. I'm gonna show y'all what they look like, so this is what it looks like. Now of course they clean up after each person. They give you a washcloth towel, everything you need. It's not dirty at all. 
Some people recommend uh, recommend sour shoes, but you can see they keep it clean. But I still wear sour shoes. But this is what it looks like. You'll be able to instantly tell if it's like dirty, super dirty in here. But, I mean, obviously it's not. You use hand sanitizer, I guess, so I don't know. Some nice foam, so it's hard to hear myself because of the echo. But cold, hot, see, that's what it looked like. Of course, bathroom over there.